Bienvenidos. Welcome to the southeast coast of Spain, a few kilometers from Alicante's golden beaches. Here, the incredible Mediterranean climate allows the production of fruits with excellent flavor and nutritional properties. During this trip, we'll take you from the autonomous community of Valencia to the very south of Spain in Andalusia to discover some characteristic fruits that led to an agricultural revolution in the country. Low precipitation, high levels of sunshine and a high number of days with no cloud at all are the perfect conditions to grow one of the world's most valuable pomegranates, the Granada Moya Dulce, which has the protected designation of origin label. It's a very specific variety of pomegranate, different from all the others, thanks to its particular sweetness and other characteristics. This pomegranate is different from all the others because of its exterior and interior color. It has a pinkish color on the outside. This pomegranate is never red and inside the seed is red. The seed is sweet, soft and it can be eaten. Mm. Eh, ¿Cómo está? Es <laughs> dulcísimo. Mm. It is a because it gives vitality, but above all it's its antioxidant values that are characteristic of this fruit. Once the pomegranates have been picked, they're taken to the pack houses where they're carefully selected, packaged and kept at a temperature of 4 to 8 degrees Celsius. From here, they start their long trip to shops and markets across Europe. Spain is the main pomegranate producer in the EU, and the Elche area accounts for 75% of the national production. This exotic fruit is not the only one exported widely by Spain. We're in Andalusia, where you can see the sun for almost 300 days a year. This place is called the European Tropical Fruit Vegetable Garden thanks to the perfect subtropical climate to grow mangoes and avocados, which taste so good. These mangoes already have sugar. They are good, but they still need a few days. They are cut here so that the milk doesn't come out of it. This mango can't be eaten yet, but if you want, I have one here that is ready. Get it, get it here, tell it to. Lo probamos. Yeah. Gracias. Qué rico. Oh, buenísimo. Due to its richness in vitamins, its sweetness and the lack of fiber, mangoes are distinctive fruit and is now considered native to Spain. Unlike other producing countries that transport the fruit green so it ripens during the week's long journey, here in less than 48 hours the mangoes are available in the markets which is a real characteristic of these Spanish fruits. Well, I think the main thing is the proximity to the market. Being so close to the market means that you can pick the mango at the optimum moment of ripening and take it to the market in an optimum state of consumption. And obviously a fruit that is bought a few kilometers away has a much smaller carbon footprint. There's a tropical fruit that more than others has driven in recent years a revolution in the kitchen and has become so fashionable, the avocado. Extremely rich in fibers, minerals and vitamins, it also contains healthy fats fundamental to the Mediterranean diet. Thanks to the multiple benefits, this superfood is increasingly consumed in Spain, the largest producer on the continent and in the European Union. But there's something that could slightly change things. Because of climate change, rain is more and more sporadic, and when it comes, it's torrential. So this affects us in avocado cultivation because the avocado does not consume much water. But it does need a little water every day. If there are times when there is no water, the avocado suffers. That's why irrigation systems are of primary importance nowadays. During this trip, we've seen how Spain has become the home of tropical fruits in Europe. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Here We Grow.